Hi guys, what's up? So, I'm here today to teach you about hand lettering and how to draw basic letter forms. Pero bago tayo mag-start, minor introductions lang. My name is Peter, a multimedia designer and hand lettering artist. I've been in the creative design industry now for more than 10 years. And currently, I'm working for one of the top fashion brands here in the Philippines. As a multimedia designer, some of the cool and fun stuff that I get to do is to make mock-ups for set designs for campaign shoots, do layouts for online and social media posts, and I create motion graphics as well. My hand lettering journey started not so long ago when I attended an event called Graphica Manila. So, kung di pa kayo guys familiar sa Graphica Manila, it's a two-day event wherein they invite the best of the best pagdating sa creative industry. Animators and illustrators from Marvel and Pixar, people from graphic design studios like Vault 49 and Blind, super amazing hand lettering artists like Jessica Hish, Jim O'Brien, Lauren Holm, Stefan Kunz, and of course, yung pinaka nakapag-inspire sa akin kung paano mag hand lettering, si Timothy Goodman. So, sa dalawang araw na yun, I was so much inspired by the talks that they gave and processes that they shared. And hopefully today, you learn something from me as well. So tara, let's get started. So before we start our hand lettering guys, of course we're going to need some tools. Here I have an awesome paper, but any kind of paper would do. But sa style ng gagawin natin na hand lettering, of course, kailangan natin mas makapal na paper because we're going to use markers. If we use a thick paper, less yung chances na mag bleed yung ink or your marker sa kabila. I have here an example. Here I have my sketchbook and as you can see this is done by using a marker. When you flip the page wala kang makikita ang bleeding sa likod. All you will see is ghosting. Here's another example. hindi siya mag-bleed sa kabila. Ito lang yung mangyayari. Ghosting lang yung mangyayari, guys. Pag gumamit ka ng thick paper. Another example is this one. This is a smaller sketchbook and I think this is a 160 GSM. If you see, wala siyang bleeding. Ghosting lang. And this is done by using markers as well. Of course, we're going to need something to write with mechanical pencil and an ordinary pencil. So preferences lang yan guys. Kasi ako most of the time I use a mechanical pencil kasi you won't have to sharpen it unlike this one. And mas fine yung lines na magagawa niya kahit di mo natasahan. All you need to do is replace it yung lead. Siyempre kailangan mo ng sharpener if you're going to use the ordinary pencil. And besides that we're going to need erasers because we're going to refine our sketches and commit mistakes. But according to Bob Ross, there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. If you don't know who Bob Ross is, guys, search nyo sa YouTube for Banchil na guy at napagaling na painter. I'm going to need also ruler because we need to measure the height and the width of our lettering. Most of the time, I use a smaller ruler kasi small scale lang naman yung works na ginagawa. Lastly, we're going to need markers. I use Sharpie markers kasi maganda yung kulay niya once applied on paper. And this is a fine point and an ultra fine point. So makita nyo dito guys yung difference nila sa thickness. I use this often when I'm filling up colors sa mga lettering works ko. Since makapal nga siya. And this I use for detailed works. That's it.
before we proceed in drawing letter forms guys just wanted to share some basic terminologies in hand lettering so I'm going to draw three lines a broken line in the middle and isa pa sa pinakababa So, kung naalala nyo guys, when you were first taught how to write the alphabet or our names, parang gaito lang naman yung sand letter. Ito lang, susundin yung guideline. So, the top line is called the cap height. This is called a baseline. The middle is the X height. So the cap height and the baseline will be the basis on how we draw the uppercase letters. So yun yung magiging size niya. An example would be the letter A. And the X height is where you would draw the crossbar. Another example, the letter R. So the X height and the base line naman will be our basis in drawing the size of the lowercase letters. For example, letter O and the S. But sometimes, the lo lowercase letters would go beyond the cap height and the base line. So this is called the descender line. This one, the ascender. Sometimes, some lowercase letters would go beyond a half height. An example would be the letter H. or the T of course dito natin lalagay yung crossbar sex for the descender naman next sample will be the letter P or the Q smaller case letters or lower case letters has what you would call the descender or the ascender line so the ascender line nya is where it would end and the descender line of this one is where it would end so to recap guys cap height and the base line will be our basis in drawing the size of the upper case letters while the x height and the base line would be our basis in drawing the lowercase letters and it's where you would put the crossbar sa x height tapos yung ibang lowercase letters that's what you would call the ascender line and it's where the ascender line would end and this is where the descender line the lowercase letter would end that's it so now it's time to draw our letters guys. So I have here three house of papers, a ruler and a pencil. So the size that we use for this one is probably the size of this ruler that I'm using. But it depends on you naman. Kung ano yung gusto nyong size. But for this one, I'm going to use the size of the ruler. Plus I'm going to extend it a little bit by using this number lines as a guide. So we're just going to draw two guidelines for this. And 
and we're going to repeat it for the rest of the paper. After making our guidelines, now it's time to draw our letters, guys. Actually, there are two parts. First, we're going to write them. Or, the lettering, we're going to draw its skeleton. So, the main focus for this tutorial, guys, would be drawing sans serif letter forms. Actually, there are other styles in drawing letter forms or sans lettering, like script and serifs but today we'll be only focusing in drawing sans serif letter forms actually there are two parts whenever you hand letter first is ito drawing the skeleton or the guide and second is later on adding some weight it's important that we do this first before we draw our hand lettering. Make sure to leave some space because later on we're going to add some weight. Now that we're done with the first part, drawing the skeleton of the letters, it's now time to add some weight. As you can see guys, kumamit ako ng dalawang colored sharpie markers for demonstration purposes. And para mas madali nyo masundan. In adding weight, I'm going to use this pink color. Actually, madali nyo naman siya. Since wasn't sinabi ko kanina. This is the first part, the skeleton of the letters. The second one is adding weight. All you have to do is follow the lines na ginawa natin kanina. And if you'll break it down guys, whenever you hand letter, mapapansin nyo na para ka lang nagda-drawing ng shapes. Like this one. This looks like a rectangle na nakaslant as you can see. So kung titignan nyo, you'll break it down. Sinundan ko lang yung line na ginawa natin kanina. And all you have to do is connect it. And this one is last for the crossbar. So, it's that easy. Kailangan mo lang sundan talaga yung lines yung letters or yung skeleton ng letters na ginawa natin yun. and of course we're going to add color to it so congratulations you just made your first ever hand lettering so now we're going to do this for the rest of the letters guys
So, saan that ring, guys? If you break it down, para ka lang naman ang gagawin ng shapes. Like this, for example. Ang letter L. Dalawa lang siyang mahabang rectangle. And another example is the letter M. Two rectangles at the side. And dalawa pang rectangle na nakaslant sa middle. So, madali lang naman siya guys. All you have to do is follow the guides or the skeleton of the letters that we did in the first step. If you're worried na hindi perfect yung lines, hindi pantay or crooked siya, it's okay. Done is better than perfect. And of course, practice makes progress. That's it. We're done drawing letter forms. So, lagi na tatandaan. You have to draw the skeletons first. And then after, you're going to add some weight. And always remember, na okay lang. Crooked yung lines sa umpisa. Okay lang naman yan. Take your time. Take it easy. Take it slowly. Practice makes progress. So now that we're done drawing our basic letter forms, I'm going to share with you some tips on how to add dimension to your letters. So I have here two Sharpie markers, of course again with different colors. First, we're going to sketch out our letter. Sige, gamitin na lang natin siguro ang letter R. So, we're going to draw the letter R three times. Adding dimensions to your letters makes so much difference. Kasi parang maangat talaga siya sa page. So now that we're done drawing three letters, we're going to add dimensions. Actually, there are three types. One is called the drop line. So, dito natin siya gagawin sa una. 
are just going to trace the outline of the letter and of course kailangan natin siya i-offset to the left but it's up to you guys ha kung gusto nyo to the right or to the left yung pagkaka offset ng line the other one is called the drop shade so what we're going to do is the same as we did sa first one pero co-connect na natin yung lines or i-close na natin siya. Kung baga, para ka lang ulit nagdo-drawing ang isa pang letter underneath the first one that you made. And lastly, yung madalas kong ginagamit ng technique is called the drop shadow. So, So, we're going to do the same dun sa ginawa natin sa second one. But, this time, we're going to close it. So, magmumukha siyang 3D. So, now it's time to add some color. So to recap, this is called a drop line. This one is a drop shade. And lastly is a technique that I often use is the drop shadow. So that's it for today guys. Sana may nako kayong tips and tricks on how to draw basic letter forms. Stay tuned on our next tutorial because I'm going to share with you another one on how to color your hand lettering artwork. And if you're interested in using Sharpie markers or some of the materials that I've used for this tutorial, please do check out Star 360's Lazada and Shopee page. So that's it. Stay safe. Keep on practicing and I'll see you next time.